Hey, what's happening everyone? Journeyman here and welcome back to Diamonds Are Forever. Today is episode number five. Uh, this is actually a bit of a different episode. Um, unfortunately, I lost two episodes um, through uh, like an audio corruption thing. I couldn't really restore the episodes. It won't work restoring. So I'm going to have to catch you up on everything that's happened uh, since the last time. Now, it's been quite some time. Um, basically, I'm trying to catch you up. Where are we? Where, where are we? I think Swansea was the start of the uh, episode two episodes ago. So, uh, we lost uh, Swansea 4-2, uh, then we beat Watford 3-1 here in the League Cup third round, uh, claiming our second major scalp. Uh, Watford, by the way, are a Division uh, 1 team, or championship as you know nowadays, and we absolutely um, dismantled them. Just fantastic performance all around um, from the boys, as you can see, knocking out Watford is an amazing accomplishment. Uh, then we uh, played Exeter, now we beat them 2-1, then we lost Halifax here 4-3 right at the end. Um, as you can see, Lee got a goal in the 90th minute for Halifax. Um, then uh, we beat Rochdale 4-0 comfortably in the FA Cup. Uh, York beat them 3-1. And then we went to Old Trafford. And it was a bad day, I'd say. 4-0. Uh, it, it's a pretty respectable result, to be, to be fair. However, as you can see, uh, Priest, our goalkeeper, was sent off in the 6th minute of the game. Uh, and then we also lost Butcher and Turley, which Turley's our backup keeper, by the way, um, to injury. So we lost the number one keeper and then we lost our backup keeper all on the same day, same day while going to Old Trafford and losing, obviously, Butcher in the process as well. So all in all, <laughs> not disappointed to lose 4-0, but I'm disappointed at the fact that we couldn't really have a full strength side to put up a fight. Um, and then we beat Lincoln 5-1, and then most recently we just beat Leighton Orient 1-0 in the FA Cup second round, which has set up a uh, third round tie against Stockport County. By the way, Stockport County um, actually played in Division 1 or the Championship. Uh, this is before they plummeted down the leagues, and I think they're playing in the Vanamama Regional Divisions right now. But that was when Stockport County was good, so that'll be an interesting matchup in future episodes. So also, we did sign some players, by the way, um, since the last episode. We um, added... Uh, Daniel Chunstam, uh, we signed him for £400,000, he is a left winger, um, can also play, uh, I tried to transfer him to a more central midfield while he's training right now to be a centre midfielder, and um, so far he's put some really good chips, um, only one assist to his name, he got one man in the match award, uh, average rating 8.5 in the league, 7.75 overall, so far he's been a pretty good signing for us, definitely a nice addition. Uh, then we signed UC nu Nuella. Um, a Finnish uh, centre-back. Um, so far, I've been rock-solid, as you would expect. He's an international player, 27 years old. Overall, just a very, very nice little sign, and will definitely help us um, going forward, especially if, if or when we get promoted. Uh, let's take a look at the league table, though, uh, before we continue here. As you can see, uh, we are currently four points clear of Macclesfield, and um, a good, let me see, eight points clear now of Leighton, Orient, Oxford, and Lincoln, respectively. I would say we've got a nice, healthy goal difference as well. Scoring goals is definitely not a problem for this team. Team, uh, conceding, we're actually doing better than I imagined as well. So, all in all, uh, things are going very, very smoothly for us. All right, and um, I had to actually add another player to the squad that wasn't shown there. It was a loan signing, Adam Proudluck. Yep, signed him from Wolves. Um, so far, so good for him. Uh, three goals in six appearances, yet to score in any cup competition. Um, but overall, a very nice signing, especially it's helped us, especially. And as you can see, uh, with all these injuries going around right now um any addition to the team is definitely a, a bonus um so injuries 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 all right so billy turley by the way um is injured he's gonna be out for two more weeks um priest by the way uh after his uh, sending off against May united he's gonna be suspended uh for the next three games uh ray warburton our backup sends a half he's out for a month of a groin strain uh you see he's gonna be out for a month of a calf strain as you can <laughs> and the injury bug has definitely hit us pretty hard um star midfielder uh justin walker Unfortunately, he's out injured as well. He's going to be out three weeks with a strained knee ligaments. Um, and then we lost, uh, obviously, Cali Vassan, and he's out two more weeks of a twisted ankle. And then Butra, um, who was injured in the Man United game, he's about a week away from a twisted knee, but it'll be quite some time before he's back to full full fitness. All right, so um, moving forward here into today's game, up against Yeovil Town. Uh, this is when they were a conference team. As you can see, we're playing them in the Vans Trophy South first round. Um, previously, um, the Checker Trade Trophy, uh, if you guys are familiar with what competition this is. Uh, future signings, by the way, uh, we disagree to sign Arna Gunnlaugsson, uh, the Icelandic international, can also play up top and play attacking midfield for us as well. So I'm excited to get him on board. Uh, should be a very, very useful signing to 
us in Division 2 should we get promoted. All right, so here we go. Um, this line I'm going to go with, as I mentioned, injuries are really really made it very difficult for us. Um, Hasmenovic has come back from injury. He was injured for quite some time, but he's back now and fully on form. 11 goals and 16. He's actually struggling today, 91%. I'm half tempted to play uh, Dwayne Darby today because we are playing slightly weaker opposition. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, ben Thatcher moves to centre-back because we don't have too many other options there. Dean Talbot, Daniel Talbot comes into the team, as you can see there. I've actually sold a few players too. I should probably go for those. Um, I'll go over those. Yeah, why not just do it now? All right, so players coming out of the club since the last time. Um, I sold Gary Mills and Mark Peters. Um, Crystal, uh, Mark Peters went to Crystal Palace, 80000 We sold Gary Mills, a young sense midfielder, for £250,000. Uh, Rodwell Underwood also left the, clubs, uh, the club, so... There you have it, we're all caught up now. Perfect. All right, let's get going into today's game. Banapacha wears the armband. Uh, this is how we line up. As you can see, uh, Mustafa's come into the side ahead of John Cogger. And um, yeah, we're going to roll that for now because so far, Mustafa's actually put in some very solid performances in the back. All right, so early goal here for us. Russian against uh, Yeovil Town. Proud to get himself first goal in the D Cup competition this season. So that's four goals and seven for him. So it's a good start to the campaign. It's really going to help us out. I think him and Hazmatovic should be able to fire us into the next division. At least that's the uh, the plan anyway. All right. So 33 minutes in. It's still only 1-0. And there's 2-0. Right. Dwayne Darby gets himself a goal as well. That's his only his third goal of the season, Dwayne Darby. He's primarily been used as a... A reserve to a reserve. Um, he's sat behind Vasinen and Butra um, and Proudlik and Hazmatovic in the uh, depth chart. So not many chances for him, but he came in and got himself a goal. So at least he's going to be at the forefront of my mind for future selection. All right, so it's uh, currently 2-1. Uh, looks for an error from James Dudgeon at the back. Has let Yeovil back in, but a goal from Proudlik. Makes it 3-1. That should pretty much seal the game. Uh, James Dudgeon struggling a little bit today. So Stuart Gray is going to come in there. Not really a centre-half, but he can play the role. Uh, Lincoln is playing midfield today. I'm going to bring in John Brady for Lincoln. Uh, there we go. So 20 minutes left to go, and it's now 3-2. Uh, Nick Crittenden, a former Chelsea player. Yeah, played for Chelsea a couple of times, as you can see. Get himself a goal there. Went on to have a pretty solid career. Play for uh, quite a few teams and the uh, lower lower divisions, and wide regarded as a very solid player too. Um, overall, yeah, three, two, one. All right, we'll move on now to the next stage then of the Vans Trophy. Obviously, this is the competition we're more than capable of winning, uh, given our cup pedigree so far this year. I mean, we're knocking out Blackburn and Watford, and um, I would say putting up a fight despite being announced ten men against Manchester United. We have decent cup pedigree, and I'm hoping we can capitalise and maybe bring home a trophy this season, the England's Vans Trophy. So the draw uh, puts us up against uh, the Choir Boys, Wickham Wanderers here, who are 21st in Division 2 and look likely to get relegated this year. All right, so on to our next game now, up against Bristol Rovers at home. Um, any news as far as players returning from injuries? I'm hoping... Nope, unfortunately. And by the way, Real Madrid has assigned uh, Ronaldo. Um, obviously, former Barcelona. This is uh, old fat Ronaldo, as I call him. He's only 25 years old in this game, though. And um, what a player he is. He signed him for $26.5 million. And nowadays, money, that will be seen as an absolute steal. All right. So anyway, um, as I mentioned, uh, Priest is going to be out three games starting now, um, which means we're going to have to go to our third choice goalkeeper, Tony Pennock. And he is absolute trash. He played 42 appearances once, and that was his major campaign. I also played for Hereford, um, and obviously uh, Yeovil Town. Um, everyone looked pretty fit apart from that. Everyone's definitely able to play. So Hazmedovic uh, will come back into the side for Dwayne Derby. Um, we should probably put a backup goalkeeper on the bench. Derby goes to the bench there. All right, I think I'm. I think I have a goalkeeper in my reserves that we can utilize and we do not okay so uh john cargo he'll be on the bench today um all right so just gotta pray that tony panic makes it through the match um or the next three matches about to any injuries because if he does then we're, we're in some serious serious doo-doo all right so up against bristol rovers now uh bristol rovers what are they 18th 18th for table yeah so this is a game that if we're looking to get promoted these are these are games we need to be winning and that's an early goal there james dudgeon 
getting his uh, fourth goal of the season. He's got a decent goal scoring record, especially for a, a centre half. Obviously, if you get promoted, I would like to bring James Dudgeon on a permanent deal. Uh, we'll have to see, though, um, how much that Barnsley willing to, to sell him for. All right, so 25 minutes here on the clock. I'd like to see us maybe get a second goal. Just give it a little bit more of a cushion. Obviously, um, a slightly weakened back line here today. Ben Thatcher moving to center half, who's been really, really ineffectual signing for me, despite paying $1.8 million for him. Uh, and obviously being Tony Pennick in goal, our third choice goalkeeper. So I'd like to get at least a couple of goals up, if possible, sooner rather than later. Get in there, Greg Lincoln, all right. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, so, well, not quite perfect. Uh, injury there. Uh, Stuart Gray's going to come on for the injured Daniel Talbot. Disappoints in 17-year-old. 17-year-old, by the way. He's got some talent about him, and he might actually develop into a half-decent player in the future, but not really getting much of a look at this moment in time ahead behind Ben Thatcher. All right, so. It has been a bit just, I mean, Jesus Christ, these injuries, they're absolutely killing me right now. All right, so a 2-0 up here. Hasmenovic comes off. Derby, lucky enough, he is on form. You know, he got a goal in the last game. Gets in there, Adam. All right, Adam, proud luck. His form is more important now than ever. All right, so 65 minutes here, 3-0 up. It's looking like it's going to be a comfortable victory for the Diamonds. Um, any other changes I think I should make? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Got Butterworth, Derby on the bench. Uh, condition, everyone's looking pretty solid, pretty fit, but we've seen players go down. I'm going to bring on John Brady for the last 10 minutes of the game. Can't do any harm. And there's a goal there for Ben Thatcher. Second goal of the season for him, first in the league. A very rare goal for him, too. Doesn't score many at all. So a 4-0 victory here. Make it 5-0 victory. Uh, Dwayne Darby getting another goal. That's 2-2 two two for him now. All right, so, uh, yeah, good performance. We'll take it four points clear now of Macclesfield and 11 points clear late in Orient. So the uh, the gap is starting to stretch a little bit between us and the uh, Chasers. All right, take a look at these injuries real quick. Dan Talbot's going to be out for three weeks. Another blow. And Hasmanovic out for three months. That is a massive, massive blow. Uh, torn calf muscle for him. So, yeah, proud luck is going to be more important than ever now. And obviously return of the sign is going to be big for us. So, um Huge, huge blow referring those players. Turley's back to light training, which means he might be able to play uh, before Priest's uh, suspension's up. Um, so Cyril Lee has been watching uh, Ramon now for weeks and weeks. Plays for um, Elch in the Spanish division, I want to say. Yeah, Spanish second division. And he's interested in making a move to us. So I thought to take a look at him. It's finished at 19 at 25-year-old. Could be a useful player. He's £2 million, though. His contract is not up, so not likely to be signing him anytime soon. Um, so yeah, with the injury, Hasmedovic, I might have to think about bringing in uh, at least a couple of players here just to help cope with these injuries. Um, lucky enough, I'd have plenty of options though. Uh, as far as striker goes, Stuffy Saget and Partridge never get a game, and Darby's in pretty decent form. I'm actually going to start him at a Butra. Uh, despite Butcher's better goal scoring record. Um, left back, it's, it's, I guess it's natural to put to Satchel in there now. Uh, as you can see, this is an absolute mess. Too many reds, too many oranges, and uh, this makes the game a little more difficult now. Especially going to this uh, very tough December run. As you can see, fixture congestion, bit of an issue. Um, Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday. So yeah, and Wednesday there, and then Saturday, and then Tuesday, and then... Yeah, as you can see, not many days in between fixtures, so it's going to make the next month or so pretty challenging uh, for us. All right, so with that in mind, I'm actually going to take a look, see if any players want to learn that I'd be interested to come and um, play for us, just to try and relieve um, some of the uh, the injury problems that we are facing. Let's take a look at that. So I am I do want to get a hold of midfielder in, and James Lundy apparently is listed for loan. Um, nope, we can't loan him because you can't sign more than two loans at one time. So, scrap that idea. Uh, take a look at our scout. Did he find anyone that can help us out immediately? Craig Rand, not particularly that type of talent I usually go for. Um, how about my Scandinavian scout, uh, Jenkins? Has he found anyone that could be any use to us? Uh, Baron, I looked at him already, but he's South African. It's unlikely to get a work permit. Uh, Dongstead. Dongstead, Dongstead, Dongstead. 5,000 pounds, 24-year-old Danish attacking midfielder. Um, 
I've got some good things about him. His pace primarily, position is good, technique is there, work rate not really. Um, creativity 14, passing, how is his passing? Six, could we do a bit of work? <sighs> so, so talent. Um, uh, perhaps we'll like to bring in the center half. I think that actually might be might be on my primary goal here. Um, Christian Pousse. Got some nice attributes there. Could be a backup for us. If I can bring him in cheap, perhaps. 14,000, perhaps. We'll try that. We'll try a cheeky little bid there to bring in a backup center half. Um, and offer was accepted. So, squad rotation player. Clauses, no clauses. Excellent. All right. So, yeah, we'll, we'll with that. It's just to help relieve some of the pressure. Obviously, of injuries and everything, it leaves us very, very, very short, um, especially at center half. And uh, we need to bring someone in ASAP. Um, however, the problem is you probably won't be able to sign for us until January 1st. So you just might have to, to stomach up the next couple of weeks and just do the best we possibly can. Um, Williams, yeah, we knew about him up for sale. Um, Darius Adams, look, that's a player. I'm actually want to bring him from Rangers. Important player. He's, he wants next to nothing. Release clause set at a million because he's getting a bit on now. 32 Polish international holding midfielder. Definitely a good job for us in Division 2. Um, again, if we get promoted. I'm making plans here just in case we get promoted. Uh, Christian Putz will definitely help us out through the rest of the campaign. Um, so he's agreed to transfer to us. £14,000, but the transfer probably won't be complete until... Uh, I imagine... Uh, I, I guess the transfer won't be complete until... Oh, no, he's there. Awesome. Even better news. That's wonderful. That's a good addition this time of year. I was, I was thinking he won't sign until January, but he's here, so surprise, surprise. All right, so here we go. Um, game number three now. Obviously, Christian Poots is available. Uh, he will not be starting today. I'm going to keep Gudgeon and Thatcher in there. Uh, Setchel will start at left back, a rare appearance for him. Um, instead of Kaga, I'm tempted to play... Yeah, I'm going to play Poots in there on the bench instead. Kaga's just a right back. Pooch can play... Um, Right back and centre half, so his versatility uh, is important there. Dwayne Darby starts today ahead of Butra. Check on the condition of the guys real quick. Uh, everyone's looking pretty good. That's fine by me. All right, so here we go up against Mansfield now. At home, Mansfield are currently 16th place in the table. This should be this should be a very winnable game. Excuse me, by the way. I've got hiccups. I don't know why. All right, so give Poots number three. Perfect. All right. Let's get it going. All right, so let's try and make it uh, two wins out of two for the episode. All right, so strong start here for Mansfield, though, and Chris Greynaker gets himself a goal. Um, apparently, Tony Pennick was out of position there. Not really a surprise. Uh, we know Tony Pennick isn't good enough to play at the standard. He's just kind of there to make up the numbers, to be honest with you. Um, oh, someone hit the upright there. I'm not quite sure who it was. Mustafa gets a goal, gets in the first ever goal. For Tarkin Mustafa, he used to play for Kingstonian Barnets. He's now a Cypriot international, by the way. He got capped in the episode that will never be seen online. Um, take a look, really, at the Mansfield team. No one really recognizable. Uh, Shane Bradley and Chris Greenacre, perhaps, are your most recognizable faces in there. Bobby Hassel at the back had a pretty strong career. Get in there, Bjornsson. Ninth goal of the season there for Tron Bjornsson. All right, so... 53 minutes here on the clock. Let's take a look at the performances in there. Churnstrom's doing well. Bjornsson's done well. At the back, Mustafa, naturally. Thatcher, captain today, got 7 out of 10. So he's putting a solid shift in. Dodgen's only got a 6, however. All right, so four minutes to go in this game. We're currently leading. Ooh, corner kick. Um... I'm going to do a central move. I'm going to fetch it to the left back. Central for Christian Poots for his debut. And then I got Butcher on the bench. I'm going to bring him on for Dwayne Derby. All right, so. Oh, Jesus Christ, I knew I shouldn't have made that change. And Bobby Hassel makes it 2-2 at the death there. Disappointing draw, especially to give it away at the end there. At least we didn't lose. At least we didn't lose. But uh, I feel like if we had a full strength team, we would have dismantled uh, Mansfield about too many issues. All right. So let's keep moving forward. As you see, a lot of teams have been for Darius Adams, like, as I expected. Um, it's going to be tough competition. I gave him what he wanted. That's all I can do, to be honest with you. I'm not going to 
overpay for him that's not really necessary it'll be a one season two season rental of anything so don't really want to overpay but uh, would have been a nice addition should he agree to sign for me again though it doesn't look likely he's going to all right so uh we've got Kittersminster and Plymouth now coming up and I think I might end the episode here at the end of uh, December and then next episode will start off obviously in January so that works out for everyone I think so the sign is back to full fitness which is great news um, it really is uh, Darby who we dropped today the sign is going straight into the side I'm going to be Boucher on the bench uh, Dwayne Darby his, his performance has to be raised have to be like spot on every time just because I know how good for signing and uh, Boutra can be so I'm trying I'm trying to play the young lads ahead of them, to be honest with you. I understand he is the cover art for my thumbnail, but I've got to give it to the uh, the young lads. All right, so uh, other changes to be made. Uh, could make this change at the back. Poos can make his full debut, I suppose, in for uh, Setchel. I think Setchel makes sense to me. Thatcher at left back, Poots with the middle, and then, yeah, Gray's on the bench. I don't really need to put Setchel on the bench. All right. That's fine. We'll roll with that. So Lincoln's unhappy with training. Nothing new there. He's been unhappy since day one. To be honest, though, I, real, I really couldn't care less. The first goal for Kittersminster here. Mark Shale gets in goal. And Adam Proudlick just got himself injured. And I forgot to add a fifth person on the bench. So all in all, a really good start to the game here. So um, Butcher's going to come on for Proudlick. Hopefully that Proudlick injury isn't too bad. Because obviously losing... I remember, remember saying how how important proud luck is going to be especially after has has lost been lost for three months of the season they should be back for the uh the run-in but still losing somebody as, as quality as Ida has is, is going to be a, a problem for us in the long run um and we're not playing very well at all as you can see only one shot on goal they've had seven seven on target and to be fair for tony panic he's having a great game in there, the game of his life eight out of ten for him everyone else though remarkably average six out of ten across the board all right, so let's uh, start the second half strongly. Not going to make too many changes to the tactic. I'm pretty limited on what I can do anyway. Just got to hold on tight. Never mind. Jimmy Bullard, 23-year-old Jimmy Bullard. Uh, signing from Peterborough for £16,000. Get the goal. Very weird to see Jimmy Bullard in the Kiddersminster shirt there. Churnstrom getting a goal. Rare goal for him. First goal, in fact, for the club. All right, 15 minutes left to go. I'm still in this game here, so I'm going to... Never mind, I'm not in this game at all now. I was going to push Bjornsson through. Excuse me. All right, where was I? Yep, oh yes, I was losing to uh, Kittersminster. That's what that's what was happening. Okay. So, yep, I was going to make some changes to freshen some legs up here and just resign myself to first defeat in quite some time, actually. All right, Looks like it's going to finish 3-1 here. And as a result, it's currently stand. Uh, Max would have caught up a little bit later on and now catching up a little bit too. But lucky enough, we are still nine points ahead of Lincoln. So um, injuries are finally starting to catch us up a little bit. Product's going to be out for a month as well. Again, again, this, is, this makes it tough. It makes it very, very tough. Um, when you have as many injuries as we do. I mean, so I like to play consistent squads. To be honest with consistent teams. I'm pretty lazy when it comes to that. Um... Okay, no news there as far as Adams that goes. But anyway, as I was saying, uh, I found that I've had most success in uh, Champman when I've been consistent with my selection. And just unfortunately, um, just because of injuries, I, just, I haven't been able to do that. And I feel like it's going to start hitting home eventually. And obviously the last two games aren't a, a good sign. Um, all right, so we've got one more, one more game here against Plymouth Argyle away from home. Kind of one last chance of the episode to really... Um, get ourselves a victory here, gets back on back on track. On the plus side, though, we do have David Priest back, and that's a wonderful, wonderful thing to say. Uh, it's a big sign-up from Aberdeen, £500,000. Um, all right, so coming in there at left back, we Ben Thatcher. Uh, right back, um, Mustafa, I presume. Could bring John Cargo back in, but I'm going to go with Mustafa. He deserves to keep his spot. Um, Centre-half, Dudgeon and uh, Poos. Um... Holding midfielder, Stephenson, because we have nobody else to play there. Um, midfield trio, uh, we'll go with 
we go with Brady, Bjornsson, and uh, Chenstrom, and attack him, and uh, up top, we'll do for Sinan and Butra. Uh, there we go. So, yeah, we'll do that with Panic on the bench. Uh, Lincoln, Gray, um, Darby, and a bit of a surprise inclusion. Duffy, maybe Seguer, maybe Partridge. We'll do Partridge. A bit of a surprise, a bit of a surprise inclusion there. And the reason being is that the two strikers that we're using right now are forward centers, which means you can use them um, as attacking midfielders in this system. And for signing, get an early goal here, which is great. I'd see a score first. It's it's usually a big, big plus for us. And Churnstrom gets a second goal of the season. Good finish there from Churnstrom. I think it's pronounced Churnstrom, I think. Uh, the uh, little symbol above the O there, I think you just overpronounced the O. All right, so um, four one here at halftime. Having a blinding game today up against Plymouth. Uh, two goals for uh, Cali Vasinen, and then obviously Daniel Turnstrom getting himself a brace as well. So all all things as things stand, things are going very very well for us. Only one assister. That's a little bit concerning. Brady, by the way, getting that solitary assist. So some pretty good individual plays there from the boys. All right, so 65 minutes here. So we're going to finish the episode of a win. I don't think that's going to be a problem. Um, what I will do, though, is I will take a couple of players off. Uh, Brucher for Partridge, because why not? Um, we'll also do Stuart Gray, because he can play centre midfield instead of Bjornsson. Give him a break there. Oh, actually, we'll make one more change. Lincoln, uh, hold midfielder. For Stephenson because he's he struggles because he, you know he's the only holding midfielder we have. All right, um, yeah, just five minutes now to go. No more injuries and uh, job done. So there you go, four-one victory against Plymouth away from home. Good to get back to winning ways, and that's now extended the gap between us and Shrewsbury to four to ten points and uh, five points now clear of Macclesfield. So um, we're well, we're past the halfway point now, I believe, two of the league. Yep, we are past the halfway point. In fact, we're starting to replay teams now. Uh, and as you can see, currently 50 points. We're on course for 100 points this season. Um, obviously, if we get 100 points, it's it's guaranteed championship. I feel like if we can get to around about 80 or 90 points, like maybe 10 more wins, 25 wins in total for the campaign, I think that we should good, be good enough to, to see us get promoted. Um, but yeah, that's going to wrap up the episode. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Uh, sorry about the delay in getting new episodes out to you. As I mentioned, uh, there's been some audio issues regarding this save and just uh, um, for some reason, my uh, recording software has problems recording Championship Manager on Windows 10. Didn't used to have uh, for my Man City uh, save or my uh, even my Swansea save, but for some reason it's having trouble now. I'm not quite understanding why. I'm just hoping fingers crossed that this recording turned out okay enough to use uh, for the channel. But uh, thanks so much for watching the episode. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. If you are, remember to leave a like on it. If you want to see more from me in the future, or you want to see my FIFA 19 career, go check that out. It just started this week. So far, it's pretty good. It's a Youth Academy challenge, and if you're into that, uh, please go check it out. Um, and if you want to see more from me, just hit subscribe, turn notifications on, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.